what are kind of when the news broke today, what were your emotions surrounding Coach Palmineri's retirement? Um, it's kind of hard to say, you know, because it was I don't think many people expected it. You know, maybe um in you know, people within the program. But um I guess my emotions would probably be, you know, excited for him in a way, you know, because he has such a great career and obviously 1500 wins. Uh, last weekend was was huge for him and he's already in the hall of fame and um you know he's won a national championship he's done he's had so many some so many successes that you know i'm excited now he gets to enjoy retirement and he doesn't have to stress as much about wins and losses he can kind of like sit back and and kind of enjoy it and you know part of me is is sad for him too because it's you know it's a big step in his his career you know his career he's retiring from baseball he's been in baseball his whole life and um, you know, it's, it's going to have to, I'm sure it's hard for him. You know, I sent him a text, you know, when I heard about it, obviously I'm sure his phone's blowing up right now. And, um, he's has a million texts from, from all over the, the country, but, um, you know, it was a mixed emotion for me. It was, you know, I'm excited for him, but also a little sad for him. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to you know, what the future holds for him. Yeah. Uh, just for you as a player, obviously, what was your favorite kind of memory of coach pulmonary for you? <laughs> So me and coach have, we have a bunch of stories from when I first got to LSU and, uh, you know, I was, I was a really good athlete when I got there, but I wasn't the most polished baseball player. And, uh, he pushed me really hard. My first day of practice, uh, as a full team practice, I was in the outfield and I played outfield my whole life and I was known to be a pretty good defensive outfielder. And he stood behind me the whole, entire practice and was, I don't want to say yelling at me, but sternly talking to me to, you know, and, and, trying to push me and I uh, walked off the field and Anthony Renato, one of my good friends, you know, he's six, seven. So he, you know, puts his arm around me. He's like, it's all right, man. That's the first time uh, you've played the outfield. And I looked up at him and I said, no, man, I've played the outfield my whole life. And uh, so it was just, he pushed me and he wanted to challenge me and he wanted to put me in situations where I had to perform under pressure. And uh, I think that was a big, you know, a big lesson for me. And, um, you know, going forward from there, I was able to, to come through in a lot of those, you know, stressful situations. And, um, you know, I, I think I, I, that's one of the memories. Obviously, there's a, there's, a, there's a ton of them. But, you know, winning the College World Series my freshman year, um, that's got to be at the top of the list. Yeah, you mentioned it. The World Series obviously will be the highlight of, of Coach's career, at least at LSU. Just kind of take me through the emotions and what that meant for his career at LSU winning the College World Series in 09. Yeah, I mean, he he got to LSU in 2007, and, um, you know, he wanted to put his mark on the, on the program. I think he, he wanted to clean it up a little bit. 2007, his first year was tough. They didn't make the postseason. I think they're only a few games over 500. Um, you know, but he was, he was putting his philosophy and he was putting his, his spin on things. And he wanted guys there that believed in him and believed in the program and wanted to be there. And so he got through that first year and then the next year, um, uh, you know, they got off to a slow start and they had that incredible winning streak, got to Omaha, um, won a game in Omaha. And then that kind of just set the stage for the next year. We had a bunch of guys coming back. I was a freshman and, um, you know, I was able to get in the lineup. We were able to make a run. I think we're ranked number one or two in the country for, for pretty much the whole season. And, uh, you know, we got to the postseason. We had a special run. And I don't think we lost the game until we got to the best of three against Texas. So um, I think that culminated his career. And obviously it was still early in the early stages of his, his coaching career at LSU. But, you know, he had gotten to Omaha a few times uh, with Notre Dame and, once with LSU, and so for him to get that that first one, and ended up being the only one, but the, the the first national championship in his third year at LSU, I think that kind of validated everything he was doing when he got there. And unfortunately, they couldn't win again. They've gotten there, they got there numerous amounts of time, but it's a hard uh, it's a hard thing to do is to win a national championship. Yeah, for sure. And and obviously with you being from Lafayette, there's kind of been a long li line of guys from the Lafayette area to play under Coach Palmineri. Just what does that mean being a kid from Lafayette? To go and play for LSU to play for pulmonary it was a dream come true you know my whole life that's where I wanted to play um I wanted to go to LSU I wanted to play baseball at LSU I wanted to go to the college world series I wanted to win the college world series and so when I got that opportunity to go to LSU um and play and, and continue my dreams uh it was 
it was unbelievable for me. And um, coach, you know, he was very upfront with me. He's very honest with me from the very beginning. Um, he didn't sugarcoat anything, which I like, you know, and he told me when I got there that I was going to have to work to, to earn a spot. And as of now, I wasn't a starter and, you know, I had to earn it, earn my spot. And uh, I appreciated that as a player. And I appreciate that now looking back, and it made me into the player that I am now. So there's a lot of things I can give credit for or credit to him for. And, um, you know, if we had all day, I could I could just give you story after story. But um, he's, he's done a lot for me. Yeah. Um, just a couple more questions. Obviously, did you watch Hold the Rope recently, the, the SEC story? Or you, you didn't so get I haven't gotten – I'm on the road actually right now. Okay. Um, when I get back to um, Charlotte is where our home, home stadium is. So when I get back to Charlotte, um, I have it recorded on my YouTube TV. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch Sweet. it when I get – Yeah, it was pretty amazing too. And obviously Paul was a part of that uh, documentary, so it was just cool to see that. But just for Paul Maneri, uh, what will his legacy be at LSU in your opinion? Oh, man. His legacy, I mean, he's going to be the winner, obviously. I mean, he's – I, don't know, I think his one percentage is like 70 percent or something crazy like that. You know, I think he's going to go down as a winner. I think he's going to go down as a motivator. I think he's going to go down as um, somebody that you want to play for. You know, I think it was, uh, you know, when I was there, he was a guy that you wanted to go out there and you want to play well for. You want you didn't want to disappoint. And, you know, it's almost kind of like a, a father figure. So um, I think that that would be his legacy. And I think that, you know, I know his dad, his dad passed, you know, a few years back. So I know he's, he's looking down. He's super, super happy for, for Coach Maneri. And, um, you know, he's going to go, Coach is, is joining his dad in the, in the ranks of Hall of Fame baseball coaches. So, um, you know, I think his legacy is, is pretty well documented. And I think that um, people are going to, he's going to go down as, as a legend. Yeah. One final question. Um, just, like you said, Paul Maneri is, is a Hall of Fame coach and, and he'll forever kind of be one of the best coaches at LSU. What made him so special? What made him so successful at LSU? Um, I think his attention to detail, um, you know, making sure everything was in order, making sure that he instilled the discipline in his players. Um, you know, when I got to LSU, you know, like I said, it was early stages of his career, but he was, I mean, he was, he was strict on us. You know, we didn't, he wanted to make sure like our lockers had to be clean, you know, just a little, the, the smallest things that you wouldn't think that had, had a big impact. They all add up to being a huge deal, you know? And so he, he taught us discipline. He never let us, he never let us settle for less. He wanted us to be per perfect, which, you know, obviously he knew in reality that nobody's going to be perfect, but he wanted us to strive for that so that we weren't, we didn't get complacent. So I think that, that those were the biggest lessons that, you know, he instilled in me and I'm sure he instilled in a, a whole bunch of other players that he coached. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No. Um, you know, coach, if you're watching this, congratulations. Uh, you know, it was an honor just to be a small part of your, your history and, and your career. So uh, enjoy retirement and I'll see you when I get back to Baton Rouge.